Jess on his right. Hey, hold up. Don't start a fight. He's got you covered with all the sports. Don't fret. He's wearing shorts. It's time for Waking Jake in the morning. Waking Jake at night. Jake sucks. Oh, yeah. That's an intro. Oh, yeah. Happy Monday, everybody. How you doing? Y'all smell good tonight. Welcome to Wake and Jake. My name is Jake R. Storielli. I'm with producer BBD. We are coming live from the Roosevelt Studios, rsvlts.com. Slash John Boy, go check it out. We're on the webpage. I always think that's kind of cool. Big, big, uh, got hired early. It was a big sports weekend. Joy. Monday. Big sports weekend. A uh, couple game sevens in hockey. Who wasn't watching that? Us. Uh, but it looks like th- the conference final started. I texted BBD last night. Because I went to find the basketball game, and I was looking at the guide, and it said playoff hockey on NBC, and I was like, ooh, on NBC on a Sunday night? And I checked, and it was game one. So, there will be a little hockey at the end. Reminder, we don't know what's going on. But uh, what we start out with on Wake and Jake, and again, hope everyone had a great weekend. Ah, good baseball, good basketball, hockey. Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Podcast. Ah, now I know. Okay, now I know how Cowherd goes insane. What we start with here is the game of the night, and I wanted to go with something from Sunday. And there's two games that stuck out: one baseball, one basketball. And I'm sorry, Milwaukee, Miami, you're gonna have to wait for that uh, because I, I don't know the storylines from that game. Are low-key not fun Giannis gets hurt Like Middleton plays okay Does that series matter anymore? I don't think so So we're going to the world of baseball And we are going to my Rockies Playing the Los Angeles Dodgers I mean a chunk of this is going to be this game A chunk of this is going to be a Dodgers hype game And part of this is going to be me hyping the, the Rockies But this was fun Labeled the Matt Kemp revenge game by BBD Might hear more about him later And this is fun. Corey Seager, who now is always called underappreciated because everyone talks about Mookie and Belly. So it's like kind of, but also not really. He has a two-homer day. He goes oppo taco, looks like a pop-out, and it goes yard. This game went back and forth all day. Fuentes hits a homer for Colorado. You don't know him, that's fine. He's Arenado's cousin, and he plays first base. So that's a lot of fun. Imagine... Your cousin you saw at barbecues and crap Growing up Now you just play for the Rockies together Will Smith Gets jiggy with a homer in the second And by the way he should have been punched out On the pitch before so that's always a bad feeling Ramel Tapia BBD's guy and Nolan Arenado Single they take the lead back This is when Seager hits his second home run They tie it up But I almost called you Jim We'll see that guy later. So under all the morning crew, Jim's got some stuff going on. We'll catch up on that later. Garrett Hampson, hamster dance, RBI triple, <laughs> big Garrett Hampson pod. Oh, my God. They take the lead back. Chris Taylor, Taylor gang, he homers for the Dodgers. We're at 6-5. We just went 0-1 to 6-5 back and forth the whole time. But in the eighth, Matt Kemp with the two-run Homer, boogity, boogity. Daniel Bard comes in for the save. If you don't know him, really cool story. Was out of baseball for about seven years, and now he's back throwing a hunge and saving games for the Rockies. So my Rockies get the win 7-6. to six. Everyone assumed the Dodgers were going to come back, and they kind of did in a way. But the Rockies survive. So Rockies get back to 500. They are 20-20, two-thirds of the way through the 60-game season. The Dodgers are 30 and 12. They are monsters. Um, honestly, before I was looking at the games and like, who should we pick tonight? I assumed, because I stopped watching this game, that the Dodgers won. 
because that's just where we're at with the Dodgers. And they're the best team in baseball. We casually skip over them too much because they're that good. Um, they're boringly good. They don't deserve to be skipped over as much. But the Rockies beat them at home. Best out of three this weekend. So big for my Rocks. Uh, doesn't really matter for the Dodgers. They had to lose a series at some point. Had they lost a series this year? Now this becomes interesting. I'm, I just went into their schedule. It looks like they haven't lost a series. Is that the first? It might have been. Yeah, July 23rd. Oh, yeah. So I think this was their first lost series. So, yeah, that is the game of the night. It bugs not, Rocky fans. I didn't mean that. That's the game of the night. The baseball. Producer BBD, how you doing? Jake, I'm well. Got your sequence shirt on, feeling good? Oh, yeah. Almost went full Trevor Plouffe mm. tribute day. Been got the hat. There. I didn't wear it today. I almost went Lakers sweatshirt, but it was, it's going to get hot later. I'm not okay. going to want to worry about it. So I went no sweatshirt. I decided to do opt for chilly morning. I'm and proud that was of you. weather talk. That was talking weather. Mike Trout specialty. So um, let's do the rest of the baseball, and then we'll we'll catch up again there. In the East, the Braves. They win 10-3 to over the Nationals. Freddie Freeman hits his second career Grand Slam. That's kind of important because he hit his first one over the weekend. So didn't get one, and now he's got two. Marcelo Zuna is slanging it for them. I think they ended up splitting four with the Nats. Mets 14-1. to The Metsies, they're coming. DeGrom Day, he shoved. He's awesome. The Mets put up a 14-burger. Pete Alonzo, he's getting going. Uh, and also a bunch of other guys homer because that's how you score 14 runs. Orioles 5, Yankees 1. Nobody cares about that game, right? Yankees are a disaster right now. Yankees. They're starting to get some bodies back. They play an important series against Toronto. Hey, you know, a third of the season left, Yanks. Figure it out. Rays 5, Marlins 4. This was the rubber match. Randy Arazarena hits two home runs for the Rays because of course he does. Uh, Starling Marte has a homer, but the Rays walk it off. Brandon Lau, sack fly. The Blue Jays, 10. Boston, 8. Jays, 6 runs in the 5th. Rowdy, Rowdy Tellez with a home run in this game. Kevin Ploiecki, the old backup catcher, got one for the Sox. Um, I think this game was 10-4, so it was a little... Or no, this is the game the Blue Jays fought in. So, whatever. Blue Jays win. Boston stinks. Uh, big Blue Jays-Yankees series. Blue Jays are second in the AL East. Woo! In the Central, Cleveland beats the Brewers. It's Bieber Day, so he he's incredible. Brad, Brad Hand, 100th career save. Nice note, producer BBD. Uh, Santana, Lindor, each with two hits days. Our Pirates take down the Reds, because of course they do. 3-2. to two. Pittsburgh down 2-1 to one in the ninth. Our guy, Coe Tuck, whenever they do something, he's involved. So I like that infield single. Um, runners advance on an error, and an Eric Gonzalez walk-off sack fly. It's Coe Tuck's world. We're, uh, we're all just living in it. White Sox 8, Royals 2. Edwin Encarnacion with the homer. His stats on the year are still ugly. Looked at them, but he's starting to homer a decent amount. So that's good. Better than it was. Grandal getting going. Keiko five scoreless, got pulled because of back tightness. Watch out for that if you're a White Sox fan. Tigers 10, Twins 8, the battle of the facial hair between me and Ploof. Eyebrow and hair on the line. Fu Manchu beard for Ploof coming up tonight. But last night, Tigers win 10-8. Rosario hits a homer, but Willie Castro does as well. Tigers fight back against the Twins pen, down 6-2. Like that a lot. Cardinals 7, Cubs 3. Paul Goldschmidt, you might hear about him in a little bit. He hits a three-run homer. Harry Bader, excuse me? Can't say that on the show. Harry Bader, 3-for-3. Three three. And in the West, the Giants beat the D-backs. Donnie Barrels, oh, tasty licks. 3-for-3, three three, two-run homer. Brandon Belt with a pinch hit home run. His recent stats are Looney Tunes. He's hitting like 500 over the past month or something. Giants continue to win some games. Angels 9, Astros 5. Wow. Didn't know this result till now. Rendon with the home run. Taylor Ward, a big triple. Sure. 
Padres 5, A's 3, Tatis gets 15th. He is tied with Trout for the MLB home run lead. That's awesome. That's everything you want. Slash, I want Judge up there, but he's always broken. Padres 1, Mariners 4, Rangers 3, Kyle Seager. Hey, three home runs from the Seager bros yesterday. How about that? Uh, Kyle Lewis with the solo donger. And then we did Rockies, Dodgers. BBD, what did I miss in the baseball? Uh, Phillies kind of burned Nola with the defense. Gave up six total runs, but only whatever the number was, was earned. Like, kind of can't afford to do that. They've been playing well lately, so, like, you can have a fuck-up day, get all the bad out. But just don't do not do that on NOLA day ever right. again. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's, like, the take I have. Today I'm a BBD. I was on the Phillies train. I wanted them to get in the mix. Now I'm on the Mets train. They traded for guys. They're going for it. They're playing better. They're trying. Their lineup's really good. What else? A Ros and Arena hits two home runs for the Rays. Just kill me. Yeah, just kill that me. Sucks. They just called him up. That's the that's the guy who's getting playing time now that they traded away Jose Martinez. Mm-hmm. So and he's supposed to be a like really stud defensively too. Whatever. And he's getting like I think mostly DH. You're bats. not in my head, Rays. I don't even care about you. They're so good. They're Todd good. Frazier's having fun. I think. With the Mets? Todd Frazier's always having fun. Always having fun. Rules Got his rules. number back. Huge. Huge. DFA Billy Hamilton after he ran into an out. Go Mets. Yeah, that's tough. Astros got swept, huh? By the Angels. So, yeah. Are the Angels, like, getting near the mix? That would be fun. I would love that. Oh, my God. That would really fuel my loins. Um, Let's do BBD. Let's do the basketball. Let's get it. Let's let's get that done with. There's some fun baseball topics, standings and stuff. I don't know. We'll we'll get that midweek. Go. We're recording talking baseball in a minute. Angels five games out of a playoff spot. Yeah, so that's no. a lot. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah, and like three two games a week. Teams to jump yeah. to get into okay. one of those. Good. Good. No. In the basketball, uh, the only real competitor. For game of the night was Bucks Heat. I mean, overtime NBA playoff game. The only problem is the storylines here are no fun. Giannis, A, the Heat are up 3 0. Giannis exits this game with an ankle injury. So it's just like, okay, are these Bucks going to roll over? And then it's, you know, we're going to point to Giannis's ankle and Middleton and Bledsoe stank and can't let Lopez shoot like that. But they fight back. Middleton ends up with 36, 8, and 8. He goes, uh, he goes bullseye uh, towards the end of the game. Like one on one hits the big shot. That was pretty cool. Um, Bam out of bio with a big game, 26, 12, and 8. But yeah, the uh the Bucks advance. And it's it's gonna be interesting because I think no NBA team has come back from down 3 0. Don't think so. If I'm the coach, my line in the locker room would be, you know, no team's ever come down from 3 0, but guess what? It's 3 1 now. And they'd be like, Why are you our coach? Talking like that. You're scary looking, little guy. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Can can they? Uh, the question now is, can they scare the Heat? Does Giannis come back? Can they win a second game? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not excited about it yet. No hot takes here. Um, if if Giannis can come back, or if they can take the next one though, then I don't know. People will start coming with the fire takes. The fire takes. The other game last night: Rockets, Lakers, Lakers. Win 117 to 109. They go up big early. The Rockets come back playing rocket ball. Bobby Covington, PJ Tucker hitting threes. Uh, Harden finishes with 27 and 7. Westbrook, yes. Mm. 10 points, 4 of 15 from the field, 1 of 7 from 3. 13 boards, battling. LeBron, 28, 11, and 9. So powerful all of last night. He has kind of the. 
one of those signature LeBron dunks head by the backboard. Everyone compared it to the picture from eight years ago, and it's like, oh, he's illegal. Mm-hmm. He doesn't count. He's a freak, man. Um, it's weird. It's weird how much we've accepted how he's still the same athletically at age 35, 36. He's, he's had, like, one soft tissue injury his whole career, which... It's nuts, Yankees, man. That's nuts. He's he's incredible. He had, like, the little back thing missed two weeks once. Yeah. And those are, like, the only two injuries I can think Sick. of. Like, that's more impressive than almost anything on the court. Yeah. The on the court stuff's pretty good. That's too. Uh, yeah, it's a lie, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the on the court stuff. Uh, AD thirty four and ten in playoff Rondo, ten and nine off the bench. Uh, that's the basketball. Anything else there? BBD. Yeah, I mean LeBron just made Buggy. Westbrook look like a yeah little, little baby, mm. which I know a lot about. A little baby. I was like, I I don't see how, why Anthony Davis shouldn't be able to just like. Pour it on the yeah. Rockets Just with the way they don't use a center at all Like P.J. Tucker, good And it works yeah. on the offensive side But like When A.D. is that guy And he's like athletic enough to move around him too like, Yeah I just don't know what No, and you can you can see him think about it Like every time he gets the ball You can see him go like Pelicans mode Like I should be able to score every time And they should want me to do that but I also handle the ball a bit. But it's also what the Rockets want you to do. So it's kind of weird. Uh, it's going to be a good game three. One apiece yeah. to get the leg up in this series. Excited for that. It's funny because the, I mean, this is going to sound rude, but the Lakers can't naturally score like the Rockets do. Mm. Like the Rockets are just throwing it up and they get buckets and bunches. Like the Lakers just don't do that. Like LeBron goes, AD goes. Um, it's just different. Yeah. That's the basketball BBD. Let's get this over with because I think I think this is gonna be ugly. Again, flipping through the channels last night, and what did I see? What did I see? But playoff Western Conference Finals, the Dallas Stars, my Dallas Stars. What up? Love, love Big D and the Golden Knights. I guess they're still good. Uh, so this is game one. Uh, I like this moment when Radic Foxa found John Klinberg for the goal. I really liked that play. Early. That was, that was good. Early on. And then it stays that way the rest of the game. Um, I mean, Kadoban in net. Oh, my God. Get him sponsored by Kadoba. And Mark andre Fleury. He always finds his way in nets for the playoffs, whether it's these Knights or he used to be Boston's boy, right? Um, So yeah, he saves everything after that early goal But Dallas wins, hey Oh So the hockey was fine For the hockey that I watched I was like, yeah, this is pretty good They're playing hockey Man, the no fans is really affecting me in hockey And maybe it's a cop out for not wanting to watch hockey anymore But it doesn't feel like playoff hockey I don't know Maybe I'll feel that way come baseball time too I don't know but that that was talking hockey. That was great. Can't oh, wait. You guys are happy. Can't wait to keep it going. Uh, we have gotten to the comment section of the show. You guys are awesome. BBD, perfect game today. 41-0, whatever. The likes on the YouTube. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, keep baking the algorithm. You guys are awesome. Uh, the likes, the comments... Uh, whether it's here, YouTube, Periscope, uh, on the podcast app, we're up to 212 reviews. You guys are sickos. You guys are awesome. I won't, uh, I I mean, I'm not, not going to beg for reviews. There's no need. You guys have been killing it, but everything you guys do do helps bake the algorithm. Maybe this will be share with a friend week. Go tell a friend about Wake and Jake. We're having fun. We're talking sports. People like sports. Uh, so the comment of the day that got me, uh, I've got two today, BBD, cause I want to give the podcast app people some love because 212 reviews is honestly badass. 12 more. Um, so first one from Mark Mayate on YouTube, leave a comment there, like do whatever listening to wake and Jake while I focus at work. I hear I'm a mess. What am I doing? 
I look over at my tablet to see Jake with his shirt over his head. Laugh so hard my wife came to check on me. Work sucks. Needed that. Thanks. That's what we're going for here. That's the end game. That was the goal of this show from long before day one. That was the original end game. Work sucks. Needed that. That's exactly what we're going for here. And then the other one I liked uh, was from Claire Amata in the podcast app, Daily Dose. It's been a long quarantine, but I've discovered that this podcast is my ideal dose of male energy. So, you know, Damn. it's not necessarily high tea. High tea. Sometimes it's high, what, femme? How do you even, I don't know. But I don't know. I think you just get the right amount of weird, is he a boy or a man? So, Thank you to everyone leaving a comment and a review. We appreciate it. Keep baking the algorithm. You guys are badass. Share with a friend this week. Friend week. Friend week. Labor Day. Friend week. Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everyone. <laughs> Oops. I don't even know. It doesn't feel like it. Hope you guys are having a nice day. Separately, I was driving into work, and I noticed when I like got over the bridge, I was like, wow, there was no traffic mm. today. And it took until then to realize, oh, I'm working on a federal holiday. Yeah. Nobody's going to work. Yeah. Very few people are going anyway, but Yeah. So I had myself a good little laugh in the car. I must have been a nice treat for you. Yeah. Just giggling <laughs> to yourself. Just giggling. In there. Uh BBD, our last segment, which actually means we have like two and a half segments left, is Bro of the Night. Uh BBD, I didn't I didn't have a big lean. There's no one I felt like I had to scream about this morning. Um my bro of the night is Paul Goldschmidt, BBD. And to flex on myself a little bit, um, he was a guy I kind of randomly decided to come in hot on this season. He had his worst year ever last year. Um, he is a main part of the St. Louis Cardinals, if you're not familiar. First baseman Paul Goldschmidt, stud for years in Arizona. Comes over to St. Louis and he's good, but he's not the level of good he's been. This year he is back... To mashing, let me see the stats. Uh, he's hitting 317. Uh, he's got a 462 on base that leads the National League. How about that? A 966 uh, OPS. So the powers, the powers probably not what it used to be. I mean, he used to kind of be a lock for low 30 home runs. Uh, I guess we'll see in a full in a full season. But uh, if the Cardinals get offense, they win games. And they've got a couple guys doing it, but he needs to be the dude, and he has been being the dude. And let me bring up this for the MLB standings real quick. The Cards are in the mix. Uh, the Cubs have been struggling. Technically, the Cardinals are a game and a half back of the Cubs, who everybody was on on their dick a couple weeks ago. So, um, little Cardinals shout out, little Paul Goldschmidt shout out. One of the best players in baseball. As far as reputationally suffering a little bit this season because he's having a fantastic year, you just said all the stats. They missed all those games, so the counting stats aren't where you would hope. Right. I mean, they've made they've had a lot of double headers still, so starting to look more representative. But I, he's been great. I mean, until last year, he averaged 150 games, and one of that is because he had a 109 game season. Everything else is 155 plus. But his average before last year. Was 30 home runs, 100 RBIs, 150 games, 301 batting average, 406 on base. Like that's exactly like in your in your head. That's the model like video game first baseman. And I, he's a Gold Glover too, if I remember correctly. Three time Gold so, Glover. Yeah. So uh, Paul Goldschmidt's awesome. Last year was a mad year, and he had an 821 OPS, which is pretty good. Yeah. But he's back so to good it. by normal standards. His career is a 917 OPS. That's kind of incredible. Really good. That's 10 years. It's a that's a decade. Jeez. Math. Labor Day. BBD, who's your bro of the night? Well, I'm giving it to Matt Kemp. He had his revenge game. We've talked about how, uh, like, homering in your debut is kind of the John Boy thing. I think I'm going to make doing something good against the team you were on for a long time. That's my thing now. Mm. I think that's a lot of people's thing. But I like it. It's a good thing. Gets the big homer against the Dodgers, and that always sticks out to me. When people do those things, Matt Rockies Kemp. winning are kind of rolling. Dodgers are still as good as ever. Just Rockies weirdly playing well now. Yeah, five hundred. The hot start, then the bad, and the good again. I thought they were doing the same thing as last year, but I guess they're not. They're, yeah, I think they're in a playoff spot again. Yeah, no, and the the Matt Kemp stuff's cool. I mean, former MVP, right? 
Yeah. Used, uh, used to date Rihanna. That was going around Twitter last night. And Matt Kemp's hot. Yeah. He's thick now, but he's still hot. He's got a very pretty face. Again, toxic masculinity from me again. <laughs> um, Rockies have the seven seed. Currently yeah. the seven seed. So, Matt Kemp, Paul Goldschmidt, those guys, <laughs> big time bro the night's like four or five years ago. Regularly. That's the... Um... Let me see if Paul Goldschmidt's best year that... Like if him and Matt Kemp were both in the voting. Matt Kemp would have had another MVP, I think, because he finished second the Braun year, right? Okay. So Goldschmidt finished second to McCutcheon. I'm not seeing Matt Kemp on that list. We're deep diving into baseball, and I like that. Like that. I like that. Uh, BBD, on to our kind of last segment, what to watch for tonight. Um, Obviously... People are probably sick of us saying this. Yankees fans, the Yanks are in a deep hole. They're playing a semi-important series against the Blue Jays. Uh, our eyes will be on that. What NBA playoff game? I mean, I'm obviously watching the hockey. I don't need to tell the people that. Probably not watching the hockey, guys. Um, who's playing in the NBA? Celts, Raptors. Okay, that's the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, Clippers, Nuggets, too. Big NBA night. Big NBA night. What do you got, BBD? Particularly that East game. Looks like a decent number of wraparound series. Or at least a couple of Cardinals Cubs still going. Yeah. And that's become a pretty big one. Tigers Twins. Uh and Houston A's kick off tonight. Oh, okay. That's exciting. Houston coming off a sweep. Rockies Padres too. A's could really A's could really kind of bury them. Or Houston could be back in it with a couple good games. That's baseball. Um there you go, BBD. Good stuff. Um, good stuff, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Um, so much coming out on the John Boy Media Network today. Uh, talking Giants, Pinstripe Strong, talking Yanks, about to record, talking baseball. Uh, no more with John Boy. John Boy's dealing with something. Um, we'll catch you guys all up on that, probably on JJR tomorrow or anywhere you find us. Uh, but we're we're good there. Uh, thank you guys. I guess my Wake and Jake takeaways of the day are, I don't know, BBD. Paul Goldschmidt's good. Matt Camp's hot. Phillies shouldn't have a day like that on Nola Day again. Phillies Mets is Phillies Mets is kind of becoming a thing, which I'm into that. Um, I think my only other thing, just for all the baseball fans, you'll hear me say this a lot this week. We're at the two thirds point. There's a third of the season left, so. A lot can change. If if you go fifteen and five, almost any team is in the playoffs with that record. Like Tigers, Orioles, basically not the Angels. Um, but yeah, if you get hot for these final three weeks, strap in. You're in the mix, and if you get cold, the other way around. So, thank you, everybody. Keep baking the algorithm. You guys are awesome. Appreciate everyone in the chat. Appreciate everyone listening. Enjoy your day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. A lot of content. Football comes this week. Oh, my God. Holy smokes, people. I told you to eat that. Think so? I like warheads. These are good. Don't fret. He's wearing shorts. It's time for Wake and Jake in the morning. Wake and Jake at night. Jake sucks.